Hey everybody, this is Ion Stuff. Today I'm testing my own homemade starlight. Now if you don't know what starlight is, starlight is a fire resistant material first invented by Maurice Ward. Now not too long ago, Nighthawk and Light produced a video showing you how to make a homemade version of it. Now he only used three simple ingredients that you can buy at any supermarket and it's non-toxic. Now the three ingredients that you need to make the homemade starlight is cornstarch, baking soda, and white glue. Now the uh, homemade starlight that I have here it's kind of yellow orange. Now the reason why it's kind of yellow orange is because I used what I had available with glue and that is a tight bond 2. It's similar to white glue. It is non-toxic and water cleanup so it's similar to it and it has a yellow color to the uh, glue itself. That's why my homemade starlight is yellow yellow orange. Now these are the uh, panels that I made. I let it air dry for a couple of weeks. Not on purpose because I really didn't have time to get to this uh, soon enough. So it did have time to dry. And so it is pretty hard. It's about a quarter inch thick. This one is. This might be a little thinner here. The ratio I used to make the homemade starlight is 10 to 1 cornstarch to baking soda and I added enough glue to make it sort of like a putty that's not sticky. I also covered uh, an egg with my homemade starlight. So the big question I have is, is this homemade starlight a big deal? I'll test it and tell you what I think. Okay, I'm using some map gas. the timer. No damage to this side, but it is quite hot. And this side, it is hot. Okay, I set up a temperature gauge. Here's the display, but you probably cannot read it. Okay, the temperature is reading 26.4 Celsius putting a new sheet of homemade starlight here right on top of the uh, thermocouple timer is on it's currently 25.7 celsius The temperature remains at 25.6 Celsius. It's 27.3 Celsius. It's 33.2 Celsius. Thirty seven degrees Celsius. The temperature is thirty eight degrees Celsius. It is a little hot. No damage on this side, but it is really warm. Now, this stuff here happens to be fireboard. It's a fire rated sheetrock. I purchased this a while back to line my safe, but uh, I have the temperature sensor behind 
this board here. I'm going to go ahead and try this fireboard. Turn it on. Current temperature is 24.4 Celsius. Current temperature is 25.5 Celsius. Temperature has risen to 38.2 Celsius. Temperature has risen to 44.7. You can hear the uh, fireboard crackling. Temperature is 50, 50.9 Celsius. It is quite warm. It's a good maybe uh, three quarters of an inch thick. Still quite hot. Okay, since I have my egg still. Timer on. Okay, let's crack this egg open to see if um, it's been cooked or not. <laughs> not sure how to open it. Okay, I had chopped it in half and you can see that the egg is still raw. So it does provide some protection, definitely. In this test I'm using regular white bread and I put four layers of bread with the crust cut off over an egg and we'll test it for two minutes. It's been just over two minutes. I removed the egg. The egg is actually really cool. Here's where the uh, egg was held. There's no damage. It's warm. Here's the egg. Let's go ahead and crack it just to make sure. Now I probably didn't make the perfect homemade starlight, but it was fire resistant and it provided thermal protection. In my testing, I used MAP Pro Gas, which burns up to 3,700 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. What I found surprising was its thermal protection. The temperature was 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit on the protected side of my homemade starlight, and it was about quarter inch thick. The temperature was 123.62 degrees Fahrenheit on the protected side of gypsum board. Now all the tests had a two minute burn time. It looks like the homemade starlight provided a better thermal barrier than gypsum, although gypsum offers a very good fire resistance 
and thermal protection as well. Now you can buy a four by eight foot sheet of gypsum board from Home Depot for about $12. Now this might be a better option than making homemade starlight. Now on the YouTube channel, Beyond the Press, they demonstrated that homemade starlight can withstand thermite. And thermite burns at about 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm not sure about higher temperatures, but homemade starlight has unique properties. If you look at the big picture, it's probably not a big deal. Even bread is fire resistant. But for a material that offers this type of protection, it makes you think about how some simple ingredients like cornstarch, baking soda, and white glue can possibly save lives or even protect valuables. Thanks for watching and have a great day.